Hi everyone, welcome back to my DIY home. In today's video, I'm sharing with you marble bathroom decor items. All of these items were purchased from the Dollar Tree and you can use them to update your bathroom and use it for some organizational storage. So if you'd like to see how I make these items, just keep watching. The first thing we're going to make is a holder for some cotton swabs and cotton pads. So you're gonna need two candlesticks, two of these glass containers. You're also going to need some jars. I picked up these jars in the holiday section, but I'm sure they have similar ones out right now. And they just have a snap on lid. Then I went outside and I painted the candlesticks and the lids this gold color. So the first thing you're going to do is just take some E6000 glue and put it at the bottom of your candlesticks. And then you're going to attach the glass to the top of your candlesticks. From there, you're gonna let it dry and then you're just going to add in whatever toiletries you want. In one, I'm putting in Q-tips and the other one, I'm going to be putting in cotton pads, but you can use these for whatever you like to store in your bathroom. The next step is just to put the lids on the top and they fit in so that they will hold your stuff in place. The next thing we're going to make is a little container for cotton pads or makeup or anything you have out. So you're going to need this glass container and wine stoppers. You're also going to need these napkin rings that come in a set of six. So with the wine stopper, this is going to be our topper. So I'm going to pull off the metal piece. So I'm just using the rubber piece. And then I'm cutting off a little bit at the bottom of this rubber piece because I don't want to use the whole thing because it sits up a little bit tall. Next, I'm going to hot glue it together. And I got a new hot glue gun. I love it because it can be on low and high setting. I'll link below in the description box if you guys are interested in this hot glue gun. And then I'm just going to glue this piece in place. And then I'm gonna spray paint the top gold. I'm also gonna spray paint the little napkin rings. So first I'm going to put some marble paper on the lid. And this paper you can pick up at Walmart. This is the only thing not from Dollar Tree. And all you're gonna do is take off a little section and use your fingernail to, this is how I measure out how big I want my paper to be. And I'm just gonna use my fingernail to go along the edge. And then from there, I'll just cut it out. And I find this really helps to make it easy to cut it out. And then I'm just cutting out the little side edges because the edges kind of are cornered off. And then I'm just gonna place the paper on top from there, I'm going to hot glue these feet to the bottom of this container. So just do a bead of hot glue around the edge and put it on your container. I love how this hot glue gun has a little stand on it and it stands up so nicely. I really had to look for a hot glue gun that had a low temperature setting because I don't like the hot temperature setting because I tend to burn myself. So I usually use it on low temp. So from there, I'm just going to put the lid on and then I'm going to take my wine stopper handle and just put some hot glue and glue it in place. And you could put anything that you like in this container. Next, I'm going to be making a beautiful vase. So I got one of the tall vases from Dollar Tree. I also picked up three of these pink stems Next, I'm gonna take that same marble paper that we've been using, and I'm just going to wrap it up to see how long of paper I need. And then I'm just going to trim it up, and then I'll again put it back and cut off some more on the bottom.
from there, I'm just going to take the backing off of this paper and then I'm just going to wrap it up. You want to get the bubbles out if at all possible. So I'm just going to smooth it out and then pull it up if I have any bubbles and keep smoothing it until it looks nice and neat. And then wherever they connect, you want that to be on the back of your vase. And then from there, I'm just going to put in my stems and I just think this looks so cute and fresh. Next, we're going to make this oh so cute little container. This was super simple. This was in the little party section. And all I'm going to do is spray paint with this Rust-Oleum Mirror Metallic Gold. This was at Walmart and I got it in the craft section at Walmart. So I'm going to spray paint the lid of this and I thought this container was perfect for lipstick. So I'm going to store my lipsticks in it and that is all you need to do to make that little piece. Next we're going to work on the tray. So I again got a plastic tray in the party section, spray painted the whole thing gold, and I'm just going to line the center of it with the marble paper. So I'm going to use that same technique where I run my finger along the edge and kind of get an idea of how long it needs to be. Next, I'll go in and trim up my paper on the lines, and then I'll put it in place, and if I need to trim any more, I'll it up and trim a side of it. But this tray was super easy and would look so cute sitting out on your vanity. Next, I decided to make a coaster that I thought would be great for putting your curling iron or your straightener on it. So I just spray painted the whole coaster gold. And next, I'm going to put a little bit of marble paper on the top, but I don't want it to cover it completely. I want to be able to see a little bit of the gold. So I'm just eyeballing it and cutting off strips until I have it the way that I like it. Next, I'm going to fold the paper so I get a nice clean edge on one of the ends and then I'll just put the paper down. And I've really been loving this in my bathroom. Next, we're going to make these cute little candles. So you need these candle stands. You're also going to need these white candles that they sell in the candle section at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be taking that marble paper again, and I'm going to be doing three inch blocks for this paper. So you can cut this however long you want, and I'm just rolling it up around my candle. And then from there, I'm going to do a one inch block of paper and put it a little bit higher up. I just use the lines on the back to help me cut these and then I'm just making sure that both candles are about the same height as far as the paper and then I'm just going to wrap it around and cut off the excess. From there I'm just going to add some E6000 to my candles and then I will put the white candles on top. and just let this dry before you move them. And I think this is a great addition to your vanity. Next, I'm going to be making another storage container. You could put anything in this that you like. And I'm gonna be using those same gold napkin rings that I had from earlier, but I'm just going to be using two of them. So I'm gonna hot glue two to the bottom. And then I'm also going to be using the other wine stopper that I bought as my handle on the top. And that's all there is to this simple little storage container. I hope you guys got some great ideas that you could use in your bathroom. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I post several DIY tutorials each week, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!